subject and literally literally I know for a fact that some people whether they here or not here the enemy has been torturing some people's mind about this subject for some reason <coughs> and we're going to find out that they're the truth <coughs> the one thing I want to say that most people won't even participate in this no way most men won't I mean First of all, there's not many righteous men out here. Second of all, there's not many righteous women out here. Don't no man want two women that walk around with attitude problems all day. Uh, can't get along, want to argue and fuss fight all day. Who want that? Nobody, Nobody want that. So, once again, there's not many righteous men out here. There's not many righteous women out here. It's a slim picking. This is why this is not for everybody. <coughs> it's for the people of Yah. Um, it's not for the world. The, 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 the word was not given to the world. He told the, the sinners to repent. Now, all the rest of the instructions is, is to the people of Yah. The, these are instructions for the people of Yah, not for the world. The world is not going to understand or perceive the things of Yah. They're not going to do it. They can't do it. And we're going get, to get into all that later. But I want to take my time. They want to go to the scriptures now. What I'm doing today, I'm giving everybody ammunition. Because after, after this, I don't know what else kind of, what else it could be, right, what else could be said. But I know it is still things that are going to be said. So I may take questions. I may not. I, it's a lot I got to cover. Matter of fact, I am going to take questions because I don't want no confusion today. This is ammunition. This is proof. Once again, this Bible is not an American book. It's right. not. Right. It's not a Roman European book. It's not a Chinese book. This book was written for Israel, by Israel. Yep. And the Bible says at the end of the day, all of who going to be saved? Israel. Israel. It's not written for the world. So, we, so you can't take a Roman perspective trying to interpret a Hebrew perspective. You can't do it. It's only one people on this earth that Yah set apart and put his name on, and that was Israel. But for some reason, Israel is the most rebellious, stubborn, hard-headed people on this earth. We would not obey. We live in witchcraft. We live on rebelliousness. We live... No, it, it, we 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 uh, swim in it, drown ourselves in it. We would not come back to the ways of Yah, but Yah is restoring, because He said that He was going to do this. The one that scattered Israel was going to gather Israel. He's going to restore all things new. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. So uh, we're going to address the elephant in the room. Some. <clears throat> have have gone as far as charging the most high righteous ways with folly. Anybody know what folly is? Foolishness. They have basically, in their minds, called and thought of Yah's holy righteous ways as foolishness. So, we have, uh, you know, who is arrogant enough to call Yah's ways folly? A foolish. A fool. A fool. Definitely. What kind of pride, what kind of uh, spirit is in you to make your thoughts, your opinions, your feelings above the most high? 
What kind of spirit is that in you? In any of us. And the Bible gives us instructions for all of this, even our thoughts, right? So some have charged y'all with folly. And you have been arrogant enough to believe that your feelings, emotions, and opinions are higher than the most highs. That your feelings and emotions are more righteous than the most highs. And guess what? That's what the hostile tongue thought too. Yeah. That's what Satan th thought too. And this is exactly how Satan, watch this, <coughs> tricked Eve in the garden. Let's go to the first scripture, honey. Is, is it recording? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right, let's go to Isaiah 14, 12. Brother Ty, you think you can read today? Yep. Hallelujah. <coughs> How you are fallen from heaven, O day star, son of dawn. So time out. How you have fallen from heaven, O day star. What is the day star? Morning star. What is, what is, what is that? What, what is the light that shines in, in the day? The sun. The sun, right? So what do people worship? This uh, it's, it's in the book. It's like it's clear as day, right? Yep. Okay. Let's go. How have you fallen? Old day start. Son of dawn. Go ahead. How you were cut down to the ground. Mm -hmm. You who laid the nations low. Come on. You said in your heart, I will ascend to heaven. Above the stars of God, I will set my throne on high. I was set. I was set on the mountain of, in assembly of the far reaches of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will make myself like, like the, the most, most high. high. See, this is how we do with our thoughts. We ascend our thoughts, our feelings, our emotions above mm -hmm. the clouds, above, and we it, 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 we make it equal to the throne of Yah. Like we know, and most of us have never studied. Only I'm telling you, what we have been is indoctrinated. By a system that has been passed down through generations, and we have never really just <coughs> studied for ourselves. But the Bible told us to prove all things, right? Yep. Prove all things and hold on to that which is good. So, if God, if God said it, how can I call it foolishness? You need to be careful what, 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 what you what your allow to say, come out your mouth. This for all of us. I talked to my brother today. Be careful what you allow to come out of your mouth. Because your words got power. Yes, and once your words go into the atmosphere, guess what? You can't get them words back. The Bible says we're going to be judged according to every idle word that we speak. We need to be careful before we speak. Especially our opinions against the most high. And we don't know what we're talking about. If you don't know something, just be quiet. That's, that's my whole thing for the long time. Ain't that right, brother Ty? If you don't know, shut, shut it up. Until you get understand. So watch this. Satan wanted to ascend above the stars. He wanted to be sit on the most high throne. He wanted to be like the most high, right? Yep. Reef of 14, 15. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will mm -hmm. make myself like the most high. Mm -hmm. But you are brought down to Sheol, to the far reaches of the pit. But you are brought down to Sheol. Sheol is the great word for Sheol hell. It will be brought down to <coughs> hell, the far reaches of the pit. Now watch the similarities with the story of the garden. Let's read it. Uh, Genesis 3 and 1. Now the serpent was more crafty than any other beast of the field that the Lord God had made. Mm -hmm. He said to the woman, did God actually say you should not eat of any tree in the so, garden? So now here it is. This is how we be. Now this is Satan planting a seed in the woman's mind questioning God. Did God really say that? Oh, did do God really allow that? How can he? Why should he? Planting seeds in the in the mind. Right? <coughs> and how could this happen? You know why? Because there's an order. Eve left the order. She supposed to stay under her covering. Which was who her husband. And if, and if it was a daughter, it would be her father. Right. And once you leave off under that covering, guess what? The hot of tongue put all kind of thoughts in your mind. Mm -hmm. 
And now you put your thoughts, your ways above the Most High. Now you question the Most High. Did God really say, don't eat the tree in the garden? Did he really say that? Plant seeds in you now. Keep on reading. And the woman said to the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden, but God said, you shall not eat of the fruit of the tree that is in the midst of the garden. Neither shall you touch it, lest you die. Now here comes the house of tongue again. Spin it, spin it, speak. Read it. But the serpent said to the woman, You will not surely die. Mm. For God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be opened. And you will do what? And you will be like, like the, the eyes. most high. That's the same thing Satan wanted to be like. <coughs> yep. So a lot of times when we try to uh, we leave off under the cover, or we try to place our opinions and our emotions without us knowing that we're trying to be like the Most High. Sometimes we accuse Him. We judge the Most High. Who are, bro, who are you to judge the Most High? Brother Dejan, who are you? Who am I? Who are any of us to judge the Most High? And you can fight all you want, but guess what? Your arms are too short to fight with y'all. <laughs> You ain't big enough to fight with y'all. So the whole thing was, for God knows that when you eat of this tree, you will be like God. You will be like God. Why do you want to be like God? Why can't you just stay in your role? Right. He gave you a place. All of us. Now, I am the priest. The Most High, I, I am the Lord of, of, in his home because that's the, order, that's the, that's the charge he, he gave me, right? Yep. But I still have to submit to the Most High. Right. I, can't, I, I can't go above him. So on today, by the power of the Ruach, HaKadosh, that's the Holy Spirit, this is what we're going to do today, y'all. Uh, sweetheart, read it. We destroy arguments and every lofty opinion. I know. This is second what? Corinthians 10 to 5, right? Yes, sir. So this is what we're going to do today. <coughs> because if we have done this consciously, consciously or unconsciously, you know what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. We need to repent. But this is what we're going to do today. We destroy arguments mm -hmm. and every lofty opinion uh -huh. raised against the knowledge of God. So we're going to destroy every argument. It shouldn't be nothing after today. I'm going to go walk the dog from the front to the back. Because, listen, one, one thing about it, I've been in Christianity. I know I know the questions. I know the, I know the concerns. I know the scriptures. I know them. Like the back of my, I, I know them. We're going to go through all of them. We come to destroy every argument, every lofty opinion that weighs against the knowledge of the Most High. Come on, read. And take every thought captive to obey Christ. We're going to take every thought captive to obey Messiah. Go ahead. Six, being ready to punish every disobedience when your obedience is complete. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So this is what we're going to have to do. Right here, Isaiah. 55, 7 through 9. Brother Ty, read that for me. Let wicked people abandon their ways. So wicked people? Proud people? High-minded people? People that got opinions? Even people that live in their emotions? This is what the Most High said. Abandon your ways. Leave them. You won't read. Let evil people abandon their thoughts. Abandon your thoughts. Let them return to the Lord. Now return to the Lord. Come on back to Bible. Come back to Bible. Because this is what we're going to be in this Bible. I ain't got to do a lot of preaching. The Bible is going to speak for itself. Keep on reading. And he will show compassion to them. Mm -hmm. Let them return to our God because he will freely forgive them. Mm hmm. My thoughts are not your thoughts. You got to understand this part right here. Because for some reason, we think we know how to how y'all think. We think we know him, but we really don't. We can't fathom what... 
Bro, y'all created this world just by word. <coughs> How can we put ourselves on a level of this thoughts? We got to come to this understanding. Keep on reading. My what? My thoughts are not your thoughts. His thoughts are not our thoughts. Wow. Go ahead. And my ways are not your ways. His ways are not about your feelings. Not about your emotions. Not about your opinions. Not about what you've been taught through tradition. His thoughts are not your thoughts. His ways are not your ways. Declares the Lord. I didn't say this. The Lord put things in order. He said, I said this. Stop trying to put yourself, stop trying to be like God with your emotions and your feelings. Keep on reading. 55 and 9. Just as the heavens are higher than the earth, mm. so my ways are higher than your ways, and my mm. thoughts are higher than your thoughts. Hallelujah. 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 Go to Keep the next slide, honey. So, let's get into it. You know me, I like to establish fundamental facts because this, this is how I like to do things. If you say it out of your mouth, then you hold yourself accountable to this. Mm -hmm. I Once again, I talked to her mother yesterday, she could not say the word, like she couldn't say it. She would stop at a certain word, like this, this isn't your Bible. <laughs> Just say it, say it, couldn't say it. So let's, let's establish a fundamental truth. Number 23, 19. I want everybody to read this as a unit. Numbers 23, 19. God. One, two, three. God, God is, is not, not like people. He tells no lies. He, lies. he is not like humans. He doesn't change his mind. When he says something, he means it. When he makes a promise, he keeps it. Everybody understand that? He not like you. He don't. He not wish you watch. He don't go back and forth. Great. His ways are forever settled. We gonna get into that scripture too. Next one. One of them truths. Psalms 89, 34. Here you go. One, two, three. My covenant I will not break, nor alter the thing that is gone out of my lips. Is that clear? Do I need to? Do I need to like? Give a definition, break it down, break down the encyclopedia to understand that he said that he's not gonna change what he said. Yep. Right. Do I need to do that? No. Why do I need to do vain philosophy and vain and vain to seek to uh, break the? It's it's simple, right? Mm -hmm. You see, the church make y'all work hard because when you when you talk in scripture and you can't and you gotta give your opinion instead of scripture, your feelings instead of scripture. I watch so many videos. You no, know, we watch it even when we in uh in Tennessee. Uh, I'm feeling or uh, it is my thoughts or it is it's like they like the Bible says don't add nor take away. So he don't care nothing about what you what the ideal is. The ideal, the, the my feelings or my thoughts. He don't care nothing about that. His word is what matters. Uh, my covenant will not break, nor will I alter the thing that's going on my lips. Let's go to the next one. Hebrews 38, 13, 8. I'm, I, we just, we just, <coughs> we just, the Bible says two or three witnesses, let every word be established, right? Mm -hmm. So let's establish it. All right? 38, I mean, 13, 8, 1, 2, 3. Jesus, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, yesterday today, and today, and forever more. Once again, I don't change. I mean, how, how simple, how, how easy, how much more clear it can it be? Hallelujah. Let's go to Psalm 119, 89. Woo! Hey, look ready? Y'all ready? One, yeah. two, three. Forever, forever, O Lord, thy word, word is settled in heaven. heaven. How long is forever? Forever. 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 Oh, forever. no. Forever. Forever. It's only <coughs> until, you know, America came on the scene. Ever. Until the Romans came on over here, Ever. until we brought them here in slavery, Ever until the Christian church was made up, he don't change. Oh my, he don't change. Yeah. He listen. He don't change. He might change like applications, like for instance, the Old Testament it was through the blood of lambs, but it's still through the blood of a lamb, which is Jesus. It's still the blood. 
It's still through the blood. It, 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 it don't change. No, we don't have to sacrifice the actual goats no more or lambs no more because Jesus was the lamb that was sacrificed. It's still the same. Remember, Jesus is the image. Those things that happened in those days was the shadow of the image. The image is greater than the shadow, but it's still the same thing. The same laws apply. The same rules apply. Does that make sense? So, today, we're going to take a little field trip. Who all like field trips? You don't like field trips, DJ? You in school, you don't like field trips? Bro, you don't. Dude, I love. Dude, don't you like field trips? You go on field trips every day. We play baseball. That's a trip. You get on the bus. You get to leave school early. You get snacks. You go to the museum. I like field trips, but today I'm taking y'all on a field trip. Hallelujah. Through the word of Yah, and I'm gonna be your tour guide. Hallelujah. Oh, y'all were too excited about this. Be being your tour guide today. I love it. Do you, how, how many love the word? I'm I so many. How many love the word? Hallelujah! I love the word. Now, now, I don't. They don't. Don't. This. I love you. That's why I tell you the truth, daughter. See, people been 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 messed up with the love and thing you do. What the heck you want to do? No. <coughs> That's not love. That's meaning I don't care. Yep. Love is discipline. Love is order. Love is rebuke. Correct. I chasing them that I love. So don't make me your enemy because I'm finna, cause we finna, I'm telling the truth. Don't make me your enemy. If you're gonna be mad, be mad the most high. How right. about that? Because I'm finna give you his word. Hallelujah. Next slide. Just go ahead and get it. Uh, wife, read this for Let's start right out the gate and hit it at the park. Yah is a polygamist. Pause, pause, <laughs> pause, pause. In the term of American, because they, by right then the Hebrews didn't know nothing about, the, no, about that word. That's a word that's frowned upon, the polygamist. But, to, for understanding purposes, because this is the word that we use, right? Yah is a go ahead. He has two wives, and it's spoken many times throughout scripture. Uh-huh. And he has given laws and instructions for this lifestyle. He has given laws and instructions. Now <coughs> again, you gotta go back to the fundamentals. Y'all don't change, you don't alter, you don't change your mind. When you say something, he means it. All right, Jeremiah. I want my brother Tyler to read this with boldness and loudness. But Jeremiah 3, 6. Oh, I'm sorry, Jeremiah 3, 6, yeah, 3, 14. All right. When Josiah was king, <coughs> the Lord asked me, did you see what unfaithful Israel did? Did you see what unfaithful Israel did? Now, unfaithful, now, Trish can't be unfaithful to me unless she belongs to me, right? Right. Okay, that's good. <laughs> she went up every hot mountain and under every large tree and she acted like a prostitute there. Oh, Ooh, now listen, now I can get deeper to this because a, a lot of us have been prostitutes too. We're not, this, we, it's not a physical, but it's spiritual. Right. If you put everything before Yah and you supposed to belong to Him, you prostituting yourself. Mm. If you can't give up your flesh, Guess what you're doing? Mm-hmm. You're cheating on him. You're being on him. Prostituting him. You're being a hoe. Whore. Let's use that whore. Whore. That goes to you too, DJ. Your money. Don't don't be no hoe to no whore to your money. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Uh, that is crazy. Let's read it. Y'all this is y'all talking right here. Come on. Hold on. What's he in? Brother Ty brought all good. This is y'all speaking. Go ahead. I thought that after she had done all this, that she would come back to me. After now, he, he, she cheated on him, committed adultery, and he thought, okay, well, she, maybe she'll come back to me, right? Come on. But she didn't come back, and what? her treacherous sister Judah saw her. So now, not only is Israel 
Now her sister <laughs> name is who? Julia. So how many is that? No, not y'all. Let's keep on reading. Judah saw that I sent unfaithful Israel away because of her adultery and that I gave Israel her divorce papers. Mm -hmm. But treacherous Judah, her sister, wasn't afraid. She also acted like a prostitute. So monkey see, monkey do. Somebody got to be the leader in a bunch. Why do you want to do what the crowd do? Right. This, this, this is how we think. What my friend is going to say. Monkey see, monkey do. Mm. I'm gonna do what they do. I know they. I know they. Not faithful to the Most High. Well, I, I'm gonna do what they do. That's what the crowd doing. Don't you know that the crowd is going to hell. The narrow road is, is, is not many people on there. Let's get it. So not only Israel committed adultery. Now here comes Judah. Acting like a little prostitute. Prostitute. Let's go. Because she wasn't concerned about acting like a prostitute, she polluted the land and committed adultery. With standing stones and wood pillars. Pause. How, 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 how can okay? We're gonna, get, we're, gonna do, we're gonna do spiritually naturally. How can a woman pollute the land naturally? Pollute the land like naturally. Don't speak on. Don't be scared to speak. I mean, I'm not scared to speak, but I don't know. Nigga, oh, just speak your mind. Bring a seed, basically, to everybody. No, she will have a seed to spread. Yeah, the whole take it in. Take it, yeah. Take it in. Yeah. Take, take it in, many much, much seed. Everything. She, her, her, she pollutes herself. Her land. Now, how in the spiritual, how do we pollute ourselves? Take we the bride of Christ, right? We yeah. allow everything in us. We listen. watch everything, listen to everything. Uh -huh. Bro. Oh, eat man. everything. <laughs> we pollute ourselves. Uh -huh. But then we got we got the nerve to call ourselves holy. Uh -huh. No, you are a whore. A polluted whore that need to come back to the most high. Listen, he's so faithful, he know that you're a hoe. And he still said, I want you back, baby. <laughs> come back to me, sweetheart. I love you. I Even though you're a hoe. I, I can look past that. Only if you repent and return to me. But so much don't even want to take the chance. How arrogant and how prideful of us. It's deep every day, sir. Oh, yeah, bro. I could be outside, man. Woo! Keep on, keep on reading it. <laughs> keep on reading. <laughs> all right. Um, even after all this, mm -hmm. Israel's treacherous sister Judah didn't wholeheartedly come back to me. She was deceitful, oh, declares man. the Lord. Oh, so that's it. She said that she would do one thing and did another. Lying ass. There we go. Next. Then the Lord said unto me, Unfaithful Israel was less guilty than treacherous Judah. Man. Mm -hmm. Keep on going, keep on going, brother. Go and, and proclaim these things to the north. Come back to me, unfaithful Israel. It is the Lord speaking. Who, who, who's speaking? The Lord. The Lord. Now, Ellis. Yeah. Now, Trish over there talking. Yeah, the Lord. Okay, no Hallelujah. Time. I just want to make sure we, we know who's speaking down now. He's speaking now, right? Yep. right? So we understand the principles, right? Okay. Hallelujah. Let's go. I will no longer frown on you because I am merciful, mm -hmm. declares the Lord. Mm -hmm. I will no longer be angry with you. Mm -hmm. Admit that you've mm -hmm. done wrong. You have rebelled against the Lord your God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Keep on reading. You have given yourself to strangers mm. under mm. every large tree. Mm. You have not obeyed me, declares the Lord. Mm. Turn, O oh backsliding children, saith the Lord. What did he say? Turn. Turn. No, 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 Unto you. Is that clear? Mm -hmm. Is that simple? Do I need to go once again, pull out a thesaurus, an encyclopedia, Google for this? Y'all speaks plainly. Everybody just don't have ears to hear. <coughs> I 
am married unto you. Read it. And I will take you one of a city and two of a family. One and I will bring you to Zion. Two right. of a family. Right. I will bring you to Zion. Ezekiel 23, 1. Brother Ty, I want you to hit this. I'll depart with this. The Lord spoke his word to now, you. Now, who's speaking? The Lord. Lord. Yeah. This like a choir. Who's speaking? The Lord. Oh, everybody don't want to sing in this choir today. Right. Everybody don't want to sing in the heavy choir today. Right. Once again, who's speaking? The Lord. Lord. No, Ellis. The Lord. The Lord. Okay, just want to make that clear. It ain't me speaking. I'm just reading his word. Yep. They don't change. They don't alter. Bless you. Read it. The Lord spoke his word to me. And I, I hope y'all recording this. Hallelujah. I want you to. Matter of fact, I'm recording. I'm on, it's gonna be on YouTube. I'm putting Hallelujah. it on the reasons why. Hallelujah. How about that? Bless you. <sighs> I'm gonna let you go. I don't hear it myself. Hallelujah. He said, "Son of man, mm -hmm. there were once two women." Hold on, son of man. It's the Lord speaking. There was once what? Two women. Oh no, it was just one of them. two. It was two of them. Okay. Daughters. Of the same mother. Uh -huh. They became prostitutes in Egypt mm -hmm. when they were young. Mm -hmm. they, their men fondled and caressed their breasts. So basically, now down this country, you leave this spirit, you leave it natural. So they allow other things to fondle them. Mm -hmm. Listen, you, listen, the spirit, we allow other things to fondle us too. That's true. That's why we can't. The Bible says, come out from among them, be separate. Come out from it's a reason. Because he don't want you to be fondled. He don't want you to be molested. Mm. He don't want them spirits to be put in you. Because once those spirits are put in you, guess what? You got a stronghold now. Now it's like moving a mountain to get you to put on a headscarf. Mm. Come on. Get you to take out an earring. And a simple earring. It becomes your God. What kind of, that's a, I mean, is it that serious? You can't give up nothing. Okay, once again. Now, let keep reading, let keep reading. Woo, all right. They became prostitutes, okay, read 23 and 3 again, then read the rest of it. They became prostitutes in Egypt when they mm -hmm. were young. Their men fondled, I mean, their men fondled and caressed their breasts. Mm -hmm. The older girl was Name? named Ahola. Ahola. And the younger girl was named Aholaba. Uh huh. What did he say? I married them. Ah, married? No, I married her. I married them. One. Them. Who he? Who he married? Two. Damn, two. Why the church won't preach this? Dose. Why the preach? Why, why the church won't preach this? Mm -mm. No, I'm married to her. Them. them. Both of them was hoes though. Mm -mm. I married. Them. them. Do I need to put out a definition? Yeah, <laughs> to understand what them is. Yeah, is it plural? Is it singular? Mm. Them is what? Mm. Plural. plural. We all been to school, right? I just listen. It really is. It's still a reason. And they gave birth to sons and daughters. Mm -hmm. Ohola represents Samaria. Mm -hmm. And Ohola represents Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Ohola acted like a prostitute. Although, although she was my wife, mm. she lusted after a Assyri after her Assyrian lovers who lived nearby. Now, if y'all want to read the rest of the story, y'all can go read it. I, I didn't put the whole thing on down there. <coughs> I talked about the other one too. But if y'all want to read the rest of the story, there y'all go. Listen, I'm giving y'all ammunition, bullets, and what they gonna say? Listen, this is what they gonna. This is what the church gonna say. But that's the Old Testament. Okay, and the Old Testament didn't come about until they translated the Bible. It was called the Holy Scriptures. Yeah. It wasn't no Old Testament. It, wasn't, it was just called the Scriptures. And before Matthew, Luke, John, and they were called the Gospels. When they were preaching, when they were teaching, they, they didn't have no New Testament to preach from. They taught from the Scriptures, which is the laws and the prophets. This is what we're reading. 
They didn't have no Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, preach from. They were Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Hallelujah. They gave the testimony of Jesus Christ. When Paul came on the scene, he wrote letters to the churches giving instructions. <coughs> and guess where he preached from? The scriptures. It was no New Testament. So there was Old Testament. What, what are you saying? All scriptures was given by inspiration of the Most High. For our learning. So you're going to throw up what God has spoken? Oh, it's old testament. What they got to do? That's the church doctrine that they put in your brain. Wow. It wasn't a such thing as the Old Testament, New Testament. It was the scriptures. They broke it up into chapters and verses. They broke it up into old and new. Is it making sense? Is it simple? Man. Oh, that was the Old Testament. We not in the Old Testament. Ain't we still? Ain't, ain't the breath? Ain't, ain't the same sun is still in the sky? Yep, the same earth is still beneath our feet. Yep. It just time has changed. Mm-hmm. Ain't nothing. Ain't, what is the Old and New Testament? Oh, the Old Testament, New Testament. Let's read. All right. What is marriage? Okay, before we read this, marriage is a covenant, right? Mm-hmm. And ordained by the Most High, and it has an order. Mm-hmm. For I, I didn't put this on the paper. I don't know if y'all got it now, but do y'all, do y'all got Ephesians 22 in there? No. no. Okay, this, somebody go there for me and read it. DJ. Uh. Just, just, just so we, we can get some understanding of the order of it. Ephesians 20 and 22 through. Hold on, no, hold on. Ephesians 5, 22, brother. I made the wrong thing. Go to the, you go to the King James. Uh, let me get that with you real fast. Ephesians 5, 22. So you understand order. <coughs> because, uh, uh, I mean, a lot of people have not been taught the order. That's why everything is out of order. But y'all have a order, right? Right. Five twenty-two. Uh, we gonna read down. Read down to uh, twenty-five. Okay. Right. Wives, submit to your husband. I mean, submit yourselves and to your own. Hold husbands. on, wives, submit to your husbands. Right. Mm-hmm. Read it as unto the Lord. So, the same way, wives. That you're supposed to obey Yah. It's yeah. the same way the wives supposed to obey the husbands. Same Hallelujah. thing for the children. Hallelujah. If you can't obey me, you ain't gonna obey like Yah. Yep. If Hallelujah. you can't do it in natural, you can't do it in the spirit. It's my job to teach you training how to do it in natural, so you, it'd be easy to do it in the spirit. Hallelujah. Is it making sense? Yep. <laughs> it's an order. Yep. Wives, meet yourself what? Yep. Now, if y'all ain't got no Bible, y'all, I mean, because I'm trying to. I understand this is on, this is down on the paper. I hope y'all write this in our papers because y'all need to understand and read this. So y'all can understand that whoever got questions about the order. Once again, did they read it? Why well, submit yourselves unto your own husbands mm-hmm. as unto the Lord. Now, this is why it's important, young women, that you marry people that's in the most high. This is why it's so much slim pickings. Because it ain't many. So this is why it might be one, two wives to one man. See, the thing is, dude, y'all, see, a lot of women want the niggas out here in, in the world. They're going to beat on them, slap on them, smoke weed all day, and play the game. There's not many righteous <coughs> women out there, not many righteous men out there. But at the end of the day, the women still outnumber the men. All right. Read 23. For the husband is the head of the wife. Who? The, who, who the head? The husband. The husband is the head of the wife. You want to read it? Even as Christ is the head of the church. Mm-hmm. And he is the savior of the body. So watch this. It's Yah, mm-hmm. the Messiah, mm-hmm. husband, wife, wife Children. Mm-hmm. I have to answer to Messiah. Right. So when Messiah gives me instructions, I have to instruct you. Mm-hmm. 
If I don't instruct you, guess who gets controlled by the Most High? Yeah. Me. So I instruct, and your most high instruct me, I instruct my wife. This is what you need to do to the girls. Tell the girls this, do this. I've been instructed to do this. Hallelujah. So when she don't do what I tell her, guess what? She gonna hear from me because I gotta hear from my boss. Hallelujah. Look at look at the job. You got you got ship managers, you got store managers, you got regional managers, and then you got the double owner uh. of all the stores. You're not gonna never hear from the, the owner of all the stores. But I guess the, the, the regional manager is. Then the regional manager is going to pass it down to the store manager. Uh -huh. The store manager is going to pass it down to the ship, ship manager. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to get held. Chain of command. It's a chain of command. Hallelujah. Now, we got women thinking they can go out of this order. You can't go above your head telling me I'm going back to the most high. You, you a liar. Hell down. If you got a father, you better earn that father. Hallelujah. If he's unto the Lord. Yeah. Even if you're not, you still honor your father until God places a righteous man in your life. Mm -hmm. And when he does place a righteous man in your life, don't take that lightly. Right. It's a pecking order. God, the Holy Spirit been speaking to me, but you got a husband. He ain't said nothing to him. Hey, come on now. He's not going to go out of order. He's not going to skip the chain of command. It doesn't make sense. Hallelujah. It is simple. Why do we make, why, why do a church make things so different? Alright? So, yeah, okay, what is marriage? Read it to us, Trish. Marriage in the Bible is a covenant between a man and woman mm -hmm. who became one flesh, <coughs> one family. Mm -hmm. It is also a sacred vow and a symbolic representation of the relationship between Christ and the church. Mm -hmm. So, question to y'all. The Bible says there are many what? Crickets, crickets. There are many members. Mm -hmm. Oh. oh. But how many bodies is One. One. One family. Bodies. So you become one flesh, right? Mm -hmm. But there are many members. What is this? Many members to this family. Mm -hmm. Many wives to this family. Mm -hmm. Many brides, but it's still one family. Mm -hmm. Does it make sense? Yes, all the way, man. Many members, one body, mm. one family. The same guy. So, once again, a covenant, and that's the key word I want y'all to understand, covenant, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Marriage is a covenant, <coughs> right? So in Jeremiah 31, 31, this is what the church uses to, for some, some reason, to this matter the Old Testament. I, I don't understand it, but this is wrote in the Old Testament. A covenant is a marriage, right? So, once again, to recap, y'all divorced Israel, right? Mm -hmm. Divorced because he was being a what? A prostitute. A prostitute. A yeah. So, let's read it, then I'll break it down. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah 31. You want to read? I said, I'll read all. I thought we all agreed to read it. No, no, I'll read it again. I want Brother Ty to read this. Jeremiah 31, 33. This is New Testament? No, this, this, this is the Old Testament right here. This is the Jesus. No, no, this is the Most High. I got you, I got you, I got you. Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord. And once again, that, 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 that lets you know who's speaking. Yeah, yeah. That's who's talking. Mm -hmm. The days are coming, what? When I will make a new covenant. With the house of Israel. One. And the house of Judah. Two. Mm. It's two wives of you. So now, he divorced Israel, right? Right. But God's family is Israel. Yep. So, if I divorce Trish and I marry another one, they're still going to be part of the Williams family. They're still going to be called Williams. <laughs> yep. Doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. He divorced Israel, but he's going to remarry. And they're still going to be Israel and Judah. Because that's his family. Mm -hmm. It makes sense. Mm -hmm. So watch this. The church said, okay, we're going to keep reading. Keep on reading so, so I, I can break it down. Not like the covenant that I made with their fathers. Mm -hmm. On the day when I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt. Mm -hmm. My covenant that they broke. That they broke, okay. 
No, I was their husband, declares the Lord. Their husband. Is that, is that singular or plural? Plural. I was their husband, right? Yeah. Keep on reading it. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel mm -hmm. after those days, mm -hmm. declares the Lord. I will put my law within them, and I will mm -hmm. write it on their mm -hmm. hearts, mm -hmm. and I will be their Yah, and they shall be my people. Mm -hmm. Now let's break it on down. Once again, if I divorce Trish, and I marry another, that covenant don't change. The, the, the application of the covenant change, meaning I'm no longer in covenant with Trish. I'm not in covenant with another, but I'm still the same man. Right. The same yeah. rules apply to my house. Right. The same laws apply to my house. Right. My laws don't change. It's just who I made the covenant with change. Right. So now my covenant is no longer with Trish. It's with another woman. Yeah. But that woman that's coming to this covenant still got to obey my laws and commandments. See, the church would say this is what this means that the law is done with. He moved the law from the stone. To your heart. Mm. Yes, so now yes. he coming inside of you. Yep. It's a sexual act. Hallelujah. He want to come inside of you. Only way you could cultivate a marriage is do what? Come on. He want to come inside of you so it can be more personal. Yep. Hallelujah. Before he just had a contractual agreement on stone. Now he want to consummate the marriage. Mm. He want to come inside of you. Make it personal. Bruh. It's a more personal thing now. I don't just want a contract. It's marriage. I want to be inside of you. <coughs> I want to be in relationship with you. I want you to be mine. Hallelujah. I want you to understand how much I love you, how much I desire you, Israel and Judah. No. Ooh, I mean, come on now. Do I need to once again? Do I need to go break out a encyclopedia? Yeah. A death, it's, it's clear as day. The covenant is just with another, but the law don't change. I'm just moving the place of it from just the outside. Now I want to come inside of you. I want to be. I want to be inside of you so you can understand how personal I want to be with you. Mm. I don't just want no. Uh, well, man, thank you, man. I don't just want, you know, just the outer appearance. Does it make sense? Yes. So I, so I want you all to let the most high inside of you. <coughs> all this outer appearance ain't gonna work. Dressing this thing up. All right. Now I got to deal with this next. The so-called law of first mention, made up by the Christians. This is what the this is what the Christians say. The law of first mention says he made them first male and female, man and woman. Which is a made up law. They are they are they are, they, are, they are quote their law, preach their law, keep their law, but won't keep the law that the, that that's been written. Ain't that so? <laughs> and the law of first mention states this. According to them, if Yah, if the first time you said it, uh, that's how that's what we gotta go with. So you made male and female. So that's what it is. It's just male and female. What if I make boy and boy? I mean, of course it's supposed to be male and female. But if you want to use that logic, just like my Shepherd them said, then nobody had no clothes on. And begin either. Everybody came here butt naked. Right? Right. right. So if you want to do the law of first mention, everybody, everybody should take their clothes off. Why don't they stuff hanging out of That's what we want to do the law of first mention. The law, five million scripture where it says anything about law of first mention. And then, you know what? I can see. Matter of fact, five million law, the Bible says that uh, sin is the transgression of the law. Right? Yep. Find me the law that calls it sin. Because we're going to be judged according by the law, right? Mm. So if it's against the law, you got to find me the law that, that the most high called it sin. Crickets, crickets. Find me the law 
the most high called it sin. And this, and this whole discussion to be over with. Mm. To be done. Now, the so-called law first mentioned, maybe about a Christian, how I know, because I've been in church for 39 years, I should know. But in knowing the law in which God instituted for the lifetime, once he said, once he said, he don't change. So here we go. Mm. In Exodus 20, right? right. When God met, met Moses on, on the mountain, he gave them commandments, right? Mm -hmm. Now, this is the conversation continued from the commandments. Let's go to Exodus 21. This is the conversation continued from the commandments. When he gave them 10 commandments, then he started giving them laws for this, law for that. Now, here come the laws that instituted this lifestyle. That Yah, not others. Yah Almighty. Exodus 21 10. This is the law. Once again, who, 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 I didn't write this. Most high. Exodus 21 10. Uh, Brother Ty, read aloud, brother. If that son marries another woman. Hold on. If the son, if the man, whoever he is, marries another woman, he must not deprive the first wife of food. Clothes or sex. Okay. I want y'all I want y'all now this way this this now I gotta go to the vision this way. I want y'all remember this word Mia. Mia. If a son marries another woman, he must not deprive the first first wife. Food, clothing, conjugal rights. Mm -hmm. He can't marry another be like just I'm just gonna ignore my first wife now. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You gotta still treat that woman as, 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 as the, the same as she been treated. She still gotta mm -hmm. do the same everything. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, that woman is now under her. Yep. That's why them body was called handmaids. Mm -hmm. Servants. Mm -hmm. Because they were a help to the wife. Mm -hmm. My wife all the time asked me, I need I need help. I want a sister. She she asking me. I got a good wife. Hallelujah. And she's getting better day by day. Come on. Mm. Hallelujah. Once again, if a son marries another woman, he must not deprive what? The who? The first. Mia. Remember that word? Somebody suck with that word and all the thing, because we finna get into that later on. <coughs> Mia. First wife of food, clothes, and sex. Law by Yah. Next. If he doesn't give her these three now, things. If he does not give her these things. These three things. These three things. He got to give it to her. He can't go abandoning her. He can't just treat her like a dog. No, she still got to be a queen in your life. Right. If he doesn't give her these three things, what? She can go free. free. Without paying any money for her freedom. That's then woman, when she, you got a man as a dog, they don't take care of you, they don't bribe for you, they don't, yeah, you, you got the right to leave. It's like, it's like a man got a right to the, well, they don't give it to it. <laughs> All right? Now, once again, people will call and charge y'all with folly because of this. How dare, who is her? Yeah. Who are we to frown upon Yah call his laws, his ways, folly? Mm -hmm. Foolish. Because our thoughts are not his thoughts. Right. Our ways are not his ways. It ain't for everybody. But my thing is the church will accept homosexuality. Mm. They, 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 it will accept mass divorces and remarriages. But they won't accept this. This is the Bible says, and we're going to get to it later. That they gonna uh, forbid marriage. They allow every other type of marriage, but 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 this forbidding to marry. We're gonna get into that later too. We're gonna get into that later too. All right. So what we at? No. Now now law concerning lever right marriage. Once again, people would call the ways of Yah folly and foolish. But I rather obey <laughs> Yah. Amen. Brother, man. Hallelujah. 
Do y'all's laws trump state laws? Of course. He got to. Because his, his ways are higher. Mm -hmm. All right. So there we are. Law. Just read it. <clears throat> when brothers live together and one of them dies without having a son, his widow must not marry outside the family. His widow must not marry outside the family. What, what, what's going to happen? Her husband's brother must marry her and sleep with her. Time out. So, for instance, y'all brothers, y'all righteous brothers, y'all keep the laws of commandments, y'all are holy brothers. Both of y'all married. This brother died without having a seed. It is your duty as his, as the brother, to take on his wife. Take on his wife. Yeah, similar. It was that was his brother. Take on his wife. Take care of her, provide for her, and not only that, give her seed, and that seed would take on the name of the brother, so the brother's name will live on in Israel. Let's keep on reading. <clears throat> I done told the story. Go ahead. Keep on reading, brother. Her husband's brother must marry her and sleep with her. Mm -hmm. He must do his duty as her brother in law. Then the first son she has will carry the dead brother's name so that his name won't die out in Israel. Hallelujah. Now, anybody remember that story of that man who spilled seed mm -hmm. and, and died? Mm -hmm. This is where the law comes from. The man brother died. He took advantage of sleeping with the wife, but he didn't want to impregnate her, so he spilled his seed on ground. Yah was angry with this Negro and killed him because he disobeyed the law. He disobeyed, blatantly disobeyed. Now, the world would call this foolish. Yep. They would frown upon him. But this was Yah's law. Bro, why the church don't teach this? They won't touch this with a, with a, with a they'll say this Old Testament. That's how they end this, leave it at that. Old Testament, that is going to us now. But, if a man robbed God, does. Yeah. That's an Old Testament too. Mm -hmm. If a man robbed God, then they're robbing and tithing offering. It's Old Testament too. Love saying that. Yeah, they, they, they cooked that model. They knew that model like back of their head, bro. The man run God, you have to run the entire world. Oh, that's good, brother. They don't fight you. According to your logic. That was a law, too. Whew. Next. All right. Exodus 14. Now, here we go again. Right here. Now, let me get back to Moses. Adultery, okay. If anybody should know what adultery is, it should be Moses, right? Mm -hmm. Y'all gave Moshe the law. And commandments. Right. So let's establish something. Let's establish something about Moses. Next. Exodus 4, 18. I'll skip to 20. Then Moses went back to his father-in-law, Jethro. So I'm just putting this here to, 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 so, you, so you can state that Moses had a wife. Mm -hmm. Moses was married. Read it. Moses said to him, please let me go back to my own people in Egypt. I would like to see if they're still alive. Okay. Jethro said to Moses, you may go. So Jethro was Moses' father-in-law. You can't be a father-in-law unless you were married to that father's daughter. Okay. Great. Number 20. So Moses took his wife and sons, put them on a donkey, and started out to Egypt. Started out for Egypt. Okay. He also brought with him the staff God had told him to take. Paul. So this was for the Ten Commandments we even given, right? <laughs> so he already had a wife. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to read the story. When Moses' sister called herself checking Moses and his brother for marrying another woman. And let's see what Yah's reaction to this was. Numbers 12 1 through 11. You still going to read, Brother Ty? I'm fine. I'm good. Hallelujah. 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 Mary. Hold on, time out. Give y'all a hand praise. <laughs> you heard it. You heard it. Hallelujah. I love you, God. Hallelujah. I accept this way. Hallelujah. 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 
Yep, Numbers 12, 1 through, like, what I got there? Yeah. Letter. All right. Now, once again, this is more than no adultery is because God gave him the laws. And now, once again, the scriptures before was before the commandments. This is after the commandments. Yep. So let's get it. All right? Yep. Let's, let's read it. Miriam and Aaron spoke against Moses because of the Cushite. Cushite woman. Cushite. Ethiopian. He married him in Ethiopia. Okay. Woman. Cushite woman who had him. Uh, whom he had married, who had married a Cushite woman. So, Miriam, which is his sister, Talk to us right there. she was the leader of the pack. Right. I'm, I'm paraphrasing, but she probably got all the Moses' face. Who do you think you is? You ain't nothing new. You ain't married to the Ethiopian. You ain't married to the Ethiopian. You ain't married to the Ethiopian. Watch what she's she, she finna say to Moses. And they said, has the Lord indeed spoken only through Moses? Now here it is. God speak to me too. I hear from the Lord. Mm. Oh man. He don't real. just talk to you, Moses. It's too real. It's too real. He don't just talk to you. He talked to me too. Pop in the locket. It's too real. You know how it is. It's too real. It's too real. <laughs> it's real in the battlefield. Hey. The Bible, listen. The Bible says I give you everything pertaining to life and godliness. It gives it, 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 it give you every, 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 it's, it, everything is in the book. Ain't nothing missing. When here comes Miriam. God speak to me too. Read, but huh? Has he not spoken through us also? Mm. And the Lord heard it. So, mm. so most high on the throne listening to this. What the? She, who, who what? She trying to check my, my servant? She in, the, she in my servant face? Hold on, hold on. Let me go see about this. Read. Now the man Moses was very meek, more than all the people who were on the face of the earth. Mm -hmm. And suddenly the Lord said to Moses and, Aaron, and to Aaron and Miriam, come out, you three, to the tent of meeting. Yeah, <laughs> so, so, so come, hey, y'all come down to the tabernacle. I need to talk to all three of y'all. <laughs> I want to talk to all three of y'all. I heard what you, I, I heard what we just said. Come on out, Moses, Miriam, Aaron. Come on out to the temple now. Get y'all bus down here. Mm. Hey, y'all come down and say that. Listen, yeah, guess what? I'm coming. I'm, hey, I'm right. running. Hey. <laughs> yes, Lord. Oh, yes. Here I come. <laughs> First of all, I'm like, dang, what did I do? Yeah. What did I say? Keep on reading. Mm. And the three of them came out. And the Lord came down in a pillar of cloud and stood at the entrance of the tent and called Aaron and Miriam. And they both came forward. Now, watch what the words Yahweh is going to say. And he said, hear my words. Hear my words. If there is a prophet among you, Mm -hmm. I, the Lord, make myself known to him in a vision. I speak with him in a dream. Mm -hmm. So, so Miriam, Miriam was a prophetess. Say, my prophets. Okay, yeah, I talk to y'all in dreams and visions. But not, not so with my servant Moses. Mm -hmm. He is, he is faithful in all my house. With him, I speak mouth to mouth. Clearly, and not in riddles, and he beholds the form of the Lord. So he said, "I speak to y'all during the vision. I talk to Moses mouth to mouth, face to face. face. I don't speak to him in riddles. I speak to him plainly. My servant Moses, who you think you is? Good, if I wanted to check him, if I wanted to rebuke him, I would do it myself. Right. I don't need you, Miriam, Aaron." Who do you think you are? This is my servant, Moses. Now, once again, if anybody knows what adultery is, it should be Moses. Right. Now, watch what, watch what Moses is going to do. Why then were you not afraid to speak against my servant, Moses? What? What? Why? What, what, what kind of spirit rose, rose up in you that, that thought that you could open your mouth and speak against my servant, Moses? Keep on reading. 
and the anger of the Lord was kindled against him, mm -hmm. and he departed. Mm -hmm. When the cloud removed from over the tent, behold, Miriam was leper, or leprous like snow, and Aaron turned toward Miriam, and behold, she was leprous. And Aaron said to Moses, O oh my, O oh my Lord, do not punish us because we have done foolishly and have sinned. So Miriam's punishment was Yah gave her the disease of leprosy because she called herself checking Moses mm. about a wife, another wife that he took on. Mm -mm. Woo, listen, 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 listen. Y'all better be careful of the words y'all let come out y'all mouth. Because judgment is not executed expediently, don't mean it won't happen. Mm -hmm. Because Yah, he's because of Jesus' blood, he's a little bit more merciful than he was back then. He give you a chance, repent. He give you a chance. He know you foolish, but the Bible says this: once you have come unto the knowledge of the truth, there remains no more sacrifice for sin. So once you come into the knowledge of the truth of something. Then your foolishness, your ignorance, and no more excuses. Now you held accountable. Okay, leprosy was a disease back in the days that when you got it, nobody touched you, nobody was around you, you was ostracized. You gotta want to read the rest of the story, please read it. Because Moses was like, man, why you do it? Why y'all just forgive her? Just she was foolish. She said, if a father would only just, you know, basically give her a slap on the wrist. All of Israel wouldn't understand, but I am a father. I'm a good father. I, I, I gave her this disease, so all of Israel would understand. What a good father does. That, did, that's she, it. did she keep it? No. Yah only let us have it for seven days. That word meek. What does that mean? Meek, oh. humble. humble. Meek. He was humble. He was. He was. Look it up. It's, okay. it's, it's basically just the word humble. That's yeah, quiet. Mm. So, any questions about this? Yeah. Uh, now, another false doctrine that the church preached. Read that for me, baby, because you know something. Now, something, it's another false doctrine. You know, I can't spell all right, really. <laughs> taught by Christianity. Go ahead. Of Yah having a perfect will and a permissive will. Now, once again, with five minutes you in the Bible. Yah's will is all his will is perfect. He, he, once again, another church doctrine. It's all his doctrine. We talk about Christianity. Yah has a perfect will, permissive will. <coughs> and the Most High just allowed things to happen. He just allowed people to see him. He just said, It's all right. I understand. I allow you to do this. Well, say that to the man that, that spilt seed. Killed this thing. Say that to, 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 to Miriam. Struck her with leprosy. Since y'all just allow people to do stuff. Y'all allowed these men to have wives because he just allowed them. He, he, he allowed them. Well, let's, let's see what y'all said. We already read his laws, right? Right. We already read previous scriptures now. Here comes his servant David. This is David. We all know David was a man after y'all's own heart. Mm -hmm. yep. Now, listen to what y'all said to David. 2 Samuel 12, 17. Ten. Brother Ty. Alright. Nathan said to David, You are the man. Thus says the Lord. Hold on. Thus says who? The, the Lord. Lord. Ellis. The Lord. Lord. Jeremiah. The Lord. DJ. The, the Lord. Lord. Okay, so the Lord. Thus says who? The, the Lord. Lord. Listen, I'm giving y'all ammunition. I hope y'all loading y'all bullets up. I hope <coughs> y'all this is this should be enough ammunition to have ammunition for Ellis. Never write this. Go ahead. Nathan said to David, You are the man, thus says the Lord, mm -hmm. the God of Israel. I anointed you king over Israel, and I delivered you out of the hand of Saul. Now, watch what the most high friend said to David. Now, since Yah just allowed him to do stuff, he just allowed this. Let's see what Yah said. And I gave you your master's house. Hold on. I gave you your master's house? Read. Your master's wives. I gave you your master's house? And I gave you his wives. 
Now remember, Saul was the king first. Saul displeased God because he disobeyed God. God stripped Saul of his kingdoms. And he gave it to David. And when, when Yah did this, Yah gave uh, David Saul's house, which was the kingdom, and his <coughs> wives. He gave them his house and all of Saul's wives. Mm. He gave them it. So, no. So, Yah just allows us that. No, he gave it to him. And then, guess what else he, guess, guess what else he gonna add on to this? Go ahead. Into your arms and gave you the house of Israel and of Judah. So not only did I give you his wife, I, I entrusted you with mine. Ooh. Mm. Come on, read it. And if this were too little, I would add to you as much more. So if he wanted some more, if he wanted more, David, I would have given it to you. Now, this is the sin that David had. Because he went and took his best friend's wife. He disobeyed the commandment. Do not covet your neighbor's wife. Mm. He went after another man's wife. This is why the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 7 and 2. Hold on. Let's, let's, I don't want to get ahead of myself. Keep on reading, brother. Why have you despised the word of the Lord? Uh -huh. To do what is evil in his sight. Yeah. You have struck down Uriah the Hittite with the sword and have taken his wife to be your wife mm -hmm. and have killed him with the sword of the Amorites. Mm -hmm. Now, therefore, the sword shall never depart from your house mm -hmm. because you have despised me and have taken the wife of Uriah the Hittite to be your wife. But because of the temptation of sexual... No, 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 not yet. So now we know what adultery is. Men, if you go after another man's belong, will belong to another man. That's why the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 7 2. Go to that, babe, real quick. Mm -hmm. Do I got, yeah. Because of temptation of sexual mortality, each man should have his own wife. wife. That's what the meaning of that is. David went after somebody else that wasn't his own. That's adultery. When you go after somebody else's property, when you covet somebody else's thing, that's adultery. How many pairs of shoes uh, do you own, Trish? Mm -hmm. Let's say you own 12 pairs of shoes. Each pair of shoes is for different purposes. But do they belong to somebody else? No. They're your own shoes. Mm -hmm. You got 12 pairs of them. Mm -hmm. But they're your own. Right. Have your own. Not somebody else's. Mm. David went after his friend's wife. When he already had all of Saul's house. He and his wives. He never rebuked him for it. He didn't rebuke David for having it. Having uh, Saul's wife. Wives. Because Saul was dead. They were free women. He didn't rebuke them for that. Oh, you can be an adult. You know. He rebuked them when he took another man's wife. He had the man killed. That was the sin of adultery. Yeah, yeah. Is this, did anybody got any more questions about what, what adultery is? Mm -hmm. Did y'all ever rebuke Moses for yeah. adultery? Mm -hmm. How about David? How about Abraham? How about Yaakov? Jacob? Matter of fact, his sons are the 12 gates of the city. He had four wives. And y'all took his seed and named them after the 12 gates. Name the 12 gates to the city after them. This is biblical marriage. This is biblical. This is Yah instituted. Not America instituted. Not Roman instituted. Not Christianity instituted. Any question? Any question? This is the time. No question? Are uh, we going to move right along? We gonna move? I, am I breaking it down like a baby should understand? A baby should understand this. Yep. So may every man have his own wife. That means, Brother Ty, you don't go after mine. That's mine. That belong to me. Probably. I don't go after yours. That belong to you. Probably. I have to have 12 cars in, the, in, in my driveway. As long as they mines. Right. They still mines. Now, when I start coveting your car, Deja, ooh, I want that car. Oh, I'm going to get that car. I'm going to find a way how to get that. 
Now, 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 I'm missing. Mm-hmm. That's good. That's really good. It's so simple, bro. That's good. But the thing is, you can't understand the, the so called new without the old. If you can't got the old, you won't get the times <coughs> of the new because what the instructions is given in the old. That one. This is the schoolmaster. It is the schoolmaster. He said, I've given him these scriptures for your learning. But when you don't want to learn what the schoolmaster has taught, then you be in deception. <sighs> it's levels to this, Trish. Mm-hmm. You go to first grade, you learn addition and, and, and subtraction. You go to next grade, you might learn division. You go to next grade, you might learn this. But you don't forget the principles mm-hmm. of what was taught. Because if you don't have the principles, you're not going to understand what's... You got to go back to the schoolmaster. You gotta go back to what was written. That's what Paul would always say. It is written. Man. Jesus would say, It is written. Man should not live by bread alone. Where was it written at? In the scriptures. Good. Everybody know how to get to here. And I hope, I hope that y'all got here to here. Because I'm using the word. I'm not doing no work. I'm I can basically do this on the, like like I, I wish I was in my recliner right now. With my, my leg up doing this. I'm not doing no work. The Bible doing it for me. This is our learning tool. This is our learning tool. <laughs> so for adultery, brothers, when you go after another man's wife, when you look at another man's wife and you start lusting after her, that's adultery. Mm-hmm. So don't even look at another man's wife and start, ooh, no, gentle, thick, ooh, she, ooh. Ah, things I would do to her. Oh, you don't argue with adultery, you are. That was, that was, the, that, that was the Messiah, the man who would look on him. Cast down imagination. This way you have to cast down imaginations. Women, what's adultery for you? Anytime you, 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 you uh, go step outside your hood. Or your betrothed. Uh, now, y'all, y'all, y'all good? Y'all need anybody needs water? All right. Now, here we go. The church, once again, even though they're counting off the Old Testament, they will say, "I am a virtuous woman. I'm a virtuous woman." But let's find out about this virtuous woman, and let's see if you really are. <clears throat> a virtuous woman. Now we're not gonna read all this because y'all go at their own time. We're gonna see the character of this woman and what she did as a virtuous woman. Y'all ready? Yes, sir. Y'all sure y'all ready? Mm-hmm. I need everybody's attention. <clears throat> Cause this what's I'm feeding y'all with knowledge to understand. I'm giving y'all ammunition. These are atomic bombs. Mm-hmm. This is not just bullets. These are atomic bombs. These are nukes. Nukes. Nuclear warheads. In the Bible, speaks about jealousy too. Y'all. That's a seed. Now, we're going to talk about jealousy one day, one day. Right next week. And this is what a lot of people deal with. This jealous, this jealous mm-hmm. situation. They don't understand the order. It's not about men being a whole. It's not about just having sex all the place. No, no, no. It's about covering the woman. Protecting the woman, providing for her, making sure she has a covering because it's not God's will that a woman don't have a covering. Every woman needs to be covered. When you are uncovered, the enemy put all kinds of thoughts in your mind because you don't have a covering. When we leave off under the covering of the Most High, guess what? The enemy speaks to our mind. He does that anyway, but if he has a covering, now we got some protection. To fight this day. So in Israel, every woman needs to be covered either by the husband or by the father. That's why the women, they go from the father's house directly to marriage. They're not out here exploring. I'm dating. I'm dating. Don't you know dating is another deception because all thing you're doing is practicing divorce? Mm-hmm. I'm going to date this one and it don't work out, I'll leave another one. Mm-hmm. You practicing divorce. You, you, you're holding yourself out. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. I'm practicing the voice. I'm practicing. I'm on. I don't know. No. Mm-mm. Next. Next. Not next. Mm-mm. Next. Now you get all kind of different different spirits in you because you are opening up. You opening up yourself. Your ear gates. Your eye gates. You're probably touching them, holding the hand, and all those are gates for spirits. Now you wonder why you bipolar. You schizophrenic. Mm. You cannot submit. Because your man didn't really defile. It don't have to be defiled sexually. You can listen to the wrong thing and be defiled. Mm-hmm. You can see the wrong thing and get defiled. Mm-hmm. That's why you father go right into the husband. The husband makes fire to make sure that husband is right to bed. He watches his attitude, he watches his. Bro, the Bible has set it up so we don't so we don't fail. We just don't want to do it. That's why we do fail. <laughs> He's setting up so he won't feel. All right, <laughs> let's move along. Cause now let me read this virtuous woman. That the church, the, they they claim I. This is what I'm a virtuous. I'm a prophet thirty one woman. <laughs> yes, I'm the prophet thirty one woman. <laughs> let's put that. Let's test that boast. You ready, baby? I want I want my prophet thirty one to read this. I got me one. I definitely got me one. Now, she can't brag on herself, but I can. Mm. I could boast on her. Because she is a Proverbs 31 woman. And and I wish all the women would read this whole thing in entirety. Because this is what Yah requires out of y'all. Let's get it. Proverbs 31 and 10. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above ruby. Who can find a virtuous woman? Her price. That's why I try to tell my daughters. Listen, y'all price are far above rubies. Why are you acting like a damn piece of copper? You are valuable to the most high. You act like a piece of dirt. Trash. Why? I'm trying to teach y'all how to be rubies. How to be diamonds. Because that's what you are. But this world has trained you to be dirt and, 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 and copper and that you accept it. We are royalty. We're supposed to look like royalty, walk like royalty, act like royalty. Not like the peasants of the land. We kings and queens. Why do you want to act like the peasants? The heathens. I don't try to do a report on that. I need, I need to understand y'all mindset. Why you want to be like the heathen? The kings, listen, lions don't concern themselves with dogs. Not a lion. In the, in, in the words of our shepherd thou. Lions don't concern themselves with dogs. What a lion got to do with a dog? A dog barking, a lion finna turn around. What, what you want, dog? No, he gonna look at it like, I'm a lion, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, you might eat it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Video. <laughs> All right, Trish, you ready? Yes, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry to cut you off. Please, please start from the beginning. Okay. Whew. Ten. Who can find a virtuous woman? Oh, listen, they're hard to find. For man. her price is far above ruby. They're hard mm. to find. They're hard to find. 11. Time out. Ben, you're not going to find them out here in these clubs, in the world, out here in these streets. You ain't going to do it. <coughs> Very rare. Because I believe my sister here is a virtuous woman. Mm-hmm. I just think she just never been taught. I believe it. Because she, I believe she is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Her spirit is not like this world. Come on. Some things she just don't know. Hallelujah. Some things I just didn't know. Right. Hallelujah. But it's very rare when you find that. The diamond in the rough. So when you find a virtuous woman, her price is far above rubies. You don't treat her like she's just a piece of trash. You don't do it. I'm sorry, baby. I keep cutting you off. (laughs) The heart of her husband do it safely trust in her. Once upon a time, I couldn't trust my wife, but I trust her now. I do. Because she's proven herself. 
Once we came into this walk, bro, her whole life changed. Literally, one day I want you to give, want you to give your testimony. Everything about her changed. And her children don't understand. It seems like you don't have a voice anymore. <laughs> they got them Jezebel spirits. It seems like you're just down there. You're just hearing everything you said. And them, them, I'm telling you, boy, the enemy speak to y'all. We y'all are not covered. Yeah, it seems like you just said. Uh, Yes, sir. She, 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 she felt she know who she is now. She know her place now. You're just emotional. You're stressed. I'm not going to go to him. I'm going to come here. Damn spirits. I hear it. I, I hear it. Uh, mm. Understand? Let's get you up. <laughs> All right, baby, you're you. I'm sorry. So you. that he shall have no need of fall. Tell me, my brother, tell you, you can be here for this one, bro. You got okay. this? And I'm going to start sleeves real bad. All right, go ahead. Go ahead, sleeves. I'm waiting on you. you when it's sleeves? All right, man, I get that. I'm going to get out. Y'all need, yeah, I want everybody to get that. I'm going to get y'all another tummy bum. Get y'all another bum. Y'all ready? I know Sister got to leave in a minute. Go ahead. You want to read it on? No, 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 no. Go on. Okay. Keep on going. Twelve. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. Mm -hmm. 13. She seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. She works willingly. Mm. Now, I, I don't have to make you do this. <laughs> she do it because she loves what she do. Who she is. Wife. She, she do it willingly. Read it. 14. She is like the merchant's ship. She bringeth her food from afar. Mm -hmm. That means she, she goes shopping, she goes to the store to make sure that we get what we need so we can eat, family. But watch what else she does. Fifteen, she rises also while it is yet night. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, she be in bed all day. Nope. No, not, 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 not no virtue, she had no business. Go ahead, read, honey. Read, read, read. And giveth meat to her household and a portion to, to her, her maidens. maidens. Now, Boy. her maidens. Now, we already done discovered. The maidens is who? Uh, no, nah, as a matter of fact, this is down. We need to go to the definition now. <laughs> Next, maidens. The driver's breed dictionary. And this is the Hebrew dictionary, right? A maiden is a damsel, female servant. The servant is to the wife. She's a young woman, a marriageable woman, or a concubine. So this virtuous woman rises up early in the morning to take care of her husband women. Mm. Make sure they eat too. Make sure they got food too. Make sure they straight too. Virtuous woman. Wow. She rises up early. Now this is the queen of the house. She makes sure not only the children got stuff to are provided for, got what they need. She makes sure the maidens got what they need to make sure that their jobs are done too. Mm -hmm. Now this is the virtuous woman who the church say that they are. She rises up early to do what? Ugh. Why does it nice she give meat to her, her household and a portion to her maidens? Mm. Her husband's other wives. Her husband's possible concubines. They don't know about the other wives. <laughs> boy, boy, boy. This is good. Sarah gave Abraham her handmaid. And said, sleep with her. I'm barren. You know, the women, see, the women that had no judge problem then, they were just, mom, see, this is how we should, uh, listen, the natural and the spiritual supposed to be the same thing. Don't, don't we brag on our master, Jesus? Yes, <coughs> oh, we got a good master. He's a good father. You need to come learn of him. Serve him. He's a key to provide for you. you take, we promote our master. The women of the Bible promoted their masters, but it's beneath you. Mm. Wow. I know, I know, I know, I know they got to be taught. I know. A lot of the women in the book, they went, got, not got damsels for their master. My master's a good provider. He'll take care of you. He'll make sure you're straight. Wow. And they call their husbands master. Lord. 
but that's beneath you. Help us, y'all. Help us, y'all. So what we have learned today, the one that this the Proverbs 31 woman, she took care of not only her, no, her husband, she made sure that, that her maidens, that her straight. husband, other women were straight. Willfully. Willfully. Wow. Boy, listen, I'm, I'm, atomic bomb! <laughs> Blue! We almost done. That's good. Move right along. That's good. Isaiah. Isaiah. Now, this is a prophecy. Isaiah 4 and 1. This is a prophecy. Read it. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, mm -hmm. saying, we will eat our own bread. Basically saying, I don't need you to pretend to die for me. Go ahead. And wear our own apparel. I buy my own clothes. Only let us be called by thy name. Only take away our approach. Only cover us. To take away, uh, oh yeah, to take we away our approach. We want to be covered. We need to be covered. We understand that I, we need to be covered. That's good. Man, that's good. I, listen, I, I, could, I could provide for myself if, if, if need be. But I just want to be covered Hallelujah. under a righteous man that's going to teach and guide me. Boy, this body will hurt you. It's, it's like a two-edged sword. It cuts. It spits, on, it spits down to the bone marrow. It hurts. You be so used to just feel these feel-good messages. This Bible, the, the truth hurts. Mm -hmm. This is why the man said, have I not become an enemy because I tell you the truth? Boy, alright. Next, Timothy. Let's, let's, let's deal with this one. Let's deal with this one. Remember that word, Mia? Yep. Alright, let's deal with it. This is a true saying. Now, we're going to place this bishop where we're overseer because ain't nowhere else in the Bible that talks about a bishop. That's something that's been added. He said, they I give you path. He said, officers are pastors, deacons, prophets, prophetess. He didn't say nothing about no bishop, nowhere else, but this right here. Let's say overseer, okay? All right. Because there got to be two or more witnesses. Nah, there got to be two more witnesses. It got to be. Go ahead. This is a true saying. If a man desires the office of an overseer, there you go. he desires a good work. Yes, he does. An overseer then must be blameless. The husband of one wife. Oh, Christian. Oh, I got you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Vigilant. Mm -hmm. Sober and of good behavior. Well, Given gotta, to, okay. Go ahead. Give it to hospitality. Okay. Apt to teach. Okay. One thing we need to deal with the word of God. Able. Able to teach. That's yeah. not the same thing. Deal with the word of God. We cannot depend on American perspective to understand what's a what is, is a Hebrew book. Mm -hmm. Some was written in the Greek because Paul did a lot of teaching it in the what they call it New Testament in the letters. So we got to look behind what this word one means. One means Mia. Remember, remember first. You read you read first. Yeah. Next next slide. Strong's dictionary for Mia. Mia. Next. Feminine. Okay. One are first. He must be the husband of his first wife. He got to at least have one wife. If you read the rest of the scripture, don't stop there. He's saying because if an overseer can't rule his own home, how can he rule the church? Right. So nobody question these overseers and so-called bishops that don't have a <coughs> that's not married. The Bible said you got to at least have at least marriage to your first one, or at least have one of them. So you can prove that you can not only run your household, but now you can run a church. If you can't rule the, your house, you can't run my assembly. Read the whole thing in context. The word one in the Greek means mia, which means first. At least be, you have to be married. If you have multiple wives, you have to at least be married to your first wife. 
Meaning, you can't deprive, you can't be deprived of her of food, clothing, sex. You still got to be able to provide for her. But you at least got to be married to at least one to prove that you can run your household. You can, you, you, you can run your family. And now, once you, you're proving that, now you can run my house. It doesn't make sense. Mm-hmm. So now, I know a lot of pastors out there, so-called running church, they don't have a wife. They don't have a family. I don't understand. Because the Bible gives you instructions. If you don't run my house, you got to at least have a family to prove that you can have them in control. Let's move along, cause I, 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 let's move along, cause I know time is getting late in the evening. Now, in the Bible, the Lord, the, the uh, Most High, or the Messiah, gave us a prayer to preach, right? A prayer to pray. And in this prayer, it's a line that goes, "Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth." So your will has been done in, in, in heaven. She also be done on earth, right? It is in heaven. Now, let's find out what the kingdom is like. Let's find out what the kingdom is like. Because, right, his will got to be done in, on earth as it is in heaven, right? Now, let's get to the kingdom. What, what is the kingdom like? And we all done. <coughs> read this, read this brother's brother, uh, DJ. I think my brother, my brother Ty right. Read Matthew 25. 1. I want you to read loud and bold, brother. This shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto the same verse. Time out. Did we just read that your will, that the king, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven? Now he comes. Jesus talking about the kingdom of heaven is like ten virgins. The kingdom of heaven is like ten virgins. Read it. Which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. The bridegroom. Right, right, bro. bridegroom. Uh huh. And five of them were wise. And five were foolish. So now there was five, there were ten virgins, five were wise, five were foolish. We all know, know the story. So this one bridegroom, he got ten options. Ten options to choose from. Read it. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. The foolish one <coughs> he didn't prepare himself for marriage, which I'm trying to get my daughters prepared for. I'm trying to be not only prepared for natural marriage, but for spiritual marriage. We almost done, Pastor. Oh, oh, she, oh she the one food? Okay, go ahead. She good, go ahead. But the wives took on their vessels with their lamps. Mm-hmm. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. Mm-hmm. And at midnight, there was a cry made. Mm-hmm. Behold, the bridegroom coming. Mm-hmm. Go ye out to meet him. Mm-hmm. Then all those vir- then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. Mm-hmm. And the foolish <laughs> said to the wise, "Give us of give us of your oil, for our lamps are going out." Mm-hmm. So the foolish wasn't ready, but the, but the five wise was. What happened? But the wise answered, saying, "Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. But go ye the re- go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves." Mm-hmm. And while they went out to buy. The bridegroom came, and they and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage. And the door so shut. they that were ready was how many? Five. Five. They went into the marriage. They shut the door. You know, on a honeymoon, you know, you go into your honeymoon with your wife. You shut the door. Right. Why? Because mm-hmm. you about to consummate this marriage. Yep. Mm-hmm. It was five of them. Jesus even spoke of it. He spoke of it. The kingdom of heaven is unto life. That your will be done. The kingdom come and will be done and you know, on earth as in heaven. He did tell us what the kingdom is like. Listen. Hold on, last scripture and then we're done. First Timothy, I don't got to on, on my paper, but I think y'all got it now. Do y'all got that y'all? First mm-hmm. Timothy. Y'all got that? Yes, yeah. Sir. First Timothy 4, 1 through 3. Then we're gonna we gonna end it on this. Yeah, I'll take questions if that's questions or not. We're gonna, Eat good. Be married. Go uh, brother Ty, you got it? Yep. Go ahead. Now the Spirit speaketh expressively. Mm-hmm. Expressively. You got the baby on, 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 the, on the screen? No, sir. Not on the screen? Okay, well. Oh, yeah. I think you 
Okay. okay. Now the spirit is speaking. I mean, he he's speaking on the earth. He's speaking loud. He's speaking, trying to get your attention. Go ahead. That in the latter times, some shall depart from the faith, mm -hmm. giving heed to seducing spirits uh, and doctrines of devils. Doctrines of devils. Come on now. Have, have we have not been indoctrinated by things that's not of this book? Yeah. We have. Speaking lies, go ahead. Speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. See, this is why a lot of people won't be able to understand it, because their conscience have been seared. <coughs> their conscience have been seared with a hot iron, and they are unteachable. They are unlearnable. They're forever learning, but never coming to the knowledge. Now watch this next verse. Forbidding to marry. Now, Tell me what other marriage is forbidden except for this biblical lifestyle. They allow a man to marry a man. They allow a woman to marry a woman. They allow regular marriage, ain't nothing wrong with monogamy. But they forbid this lifestyle. This the only lifestyle that, that they forbid to marry. Big mystery, this and that. They frown upon this. Forbidding to marry. Any questions, y'all? Clips loaded. No questions. Clips loaded. Tommy Bond's been, been. There are no more questions, y'all. I appreciate y'all for coming, listening. I hope this has been edifying. I hope this has been, I hope y'all learned something. I dropped a lot of Tommy Bond's. Uh, listen, knowledge. The Bible says, uh, truth, the truth, the truth will set you free. The truth will set you free, y'all. And listen, this allows the truth of God to just set us free. Mm -hmm. A lot of us may not never participate in this lifestyle, but it's just God's word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, we are dismissed. Uh, sister, okay, you get on with the ladies you want to. Right, I know you got to go, too. So I appreciate you for being here.